Bringing families together with Big Star's Little Star, sponsored by Butlins. Hello and welcome back to Big Star's Little Star. Now, before the break, we asked you which big star this little star grew up to become. Did you get it right? It was, of course, Lewis Hamilton. Look at him there. Now, before we get started on to the next game, let's bring out the real stars of the show. Please welcome back our little stars, Benjamin, Charlie and Indio. Good work. Loving that. Good to see you back, little stars. Right, it is now time for our big and little stars to work together. Here's a reminder of how it works. I'll ask them both questions about the big star. They just need to give me the same answer. The more they match, the more they score. Simple as that. Jodie and Indio, you're up first. Come and get a seat over here. Here we go. Easier questions or harder questions? Well, the good thing about this round is that you don't really need to answer anything. You've just got to guess, all right? So, good luck. Here's your first one. What was Mummy's best subject at school? Was it art, maths or music? I'm... Guess now. Uh, I, um, I, I don't know because, because it was a very, very, very long time ago. <laughs> Nor was I. It's <laughs> a joke. Right, uh, pick one for us. Anyone you want. I think my. You can do it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I actually knew for one the I saw she went for A. <laughs> It's a good angle. Actually. I can see it. Yeah, I can see it, yeah. yeah. Oh, my Lord. We've, uh, we've just got the, uh, the cops coming in. <laughs> OK. India, we can't give you a point for that because you were peeking. Here's your next one. What would Mummy's dream job be? Would it be a hairdresser, a show jumper or a trampolinist? Choose now. Um... Yeah! <laughs> How about that? What have we got next? I didn't even see it. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> How tall is Mummy? Is she four foot two, six <laughs> foot two, or eight foot two? She's medium, so I'm going for him. You're going medium. Choose now, then. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Next. What unusual thing happened when Mummy was pregnant? Was it she grew an inch, she craved charcoal, or she got smelly feet? <laughs> Choose now. Oh. Yeah! Wow, we how about that? Right, here is your next one. Who does Mummy think is the best racing driver? Is it Lewis Hamilton, David Coulthard, or herself? <laughs> Choose now. <laughs> yeah! I knew it! Indio, how good is Mummy at driving? I know you're good at racing, Mummy. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> Mummy, do you think um, Lewis Ham Hamilton is second? Uh, yes. So then, uh, David Coulthard's third. Yeah. There you go. Well, I tell you, well done to Jodie and Indio. You scored four points. <laughs> Come on, Benjamin, get yourselves over here. <laughs> nice one, Benjamin. Make yourself comfy. Here is your first one. 
these? Who is Mummy's favourite member of Steps? <laughs> I like this question. <laughs> is it Claire, Lisa or H? Choose now. <laughs> Correct. Dangerous question. That is. I love them all equally. Oh, <laughs> but you like H more. <laughs> right, good luck with your next one. Here it comes. Where did money get engaged? Was it in an aeroplane, on a beach, or the Spanish steps? <laughs> Choose now. <laughs> oh, you thought it was the Spanish steps, but it was actually on a lovely beach. Where was that? It was on uh, Caridu Island in the Maldives. Oh, wow. Didn't he do well? Very nice. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your next one. What is Mummy best at? Is it singing, dancing or acting? Choose now. <laughs> yeah! Done. Good teamwork. Here's another. Who did Mummy have a crush on when she was younger? Was it David Hasselhoff, David Attenborough, or David Jason? Choose now. <laughs> He's got it right. Yay! <laughs> I'm guess, I tell you. Here's your next one. <laughs> what was Mummy's <laughs> best hairstyle? <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> uh, was it straight, <laughs> curly, or dreadlocks? <laughs> Which one do you think? Choose now. Ah, oh, I might go. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> we've actually got a picture of you with your dreadlocks in the band. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> why, why did you have no clothes on? Idea why we had no clothes. There you go. <laughs> right, I can tell you now. Wow, you did very well, <laughs> Faye and Benjamin. You scored four points. <laughs> Last but not least, it's Emily Charlie. <laughs> I think Charlie's ready for this. <laughs> Here's your first one. Good luck to you both. Which celebrity does Daddy think he looks most like? Is it Sean Connery, Norris Cole, or Kermit the Frog? Choose now. <laughs> oh. You don't look like him. You look like him. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this about a Sean Connery story? Well, when I was younger, I liked to think that I looked a little bit like Sean Connery. And uh, then I actually got the chance to meet the man and I was uh, interviewing him for something and afterwards one of our team said, you know, he does an impression of you, he thinks he looks like you. And uh, so I went, yeah, she's like, here, you think you look like me? And I said, well, on a good day. And Sean said, hey, and me on a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. Here's your next one. What did Daddy once have pinched whilst reporting from outside a train station? Was it his microphone, his wallet, or his bottom? Choose now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it was indeed <laughs> his bottom. What a treat. I would never let my wallet go. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one for you. I know the start to the next one if you're going to have trouble with it. Oh, really? <laughs> what do you think is the start of the next one, then? Which item of clothing? And that's it. Are you, have you been reading your Tokyo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky monkey. Cheeky Charlie, that's what I'm going to call you from now on. Cheeky Charlie. That's what my dad calls me anyway. Oh, really? Good. <laughs> right. OK. Here's your next one, which you will not expect the start of. <laughs> What item of clothing did Daddy sometimes wear to school? Was it his kilt, top hat, or stockings and suspenders? <laughs> Choose now. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Very good, guys. Here's this one. 
Who did Daddy least enjoy interviewing on the radio? <laughs> oh, dear. What was it? Simon Cowell, Robbie Williams, or Jerry Halliwell, obviously now known as Jerry Horner? Choose now. <laughs> ah, unlucky. So, what, what happened? Jerry brought in a friend from the street that she'd just met, and she also brought in a small dog, which came into the studio and uh, broke wind frequently in the course of the interview. So, uh, it wasn't a very nice atmosphere, shall we say. Oh, I bet it wasn't. <laughs> Simon, he was great. He didn't break wind at all through the end. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here's your last one. Daddy receives around 400 of what every day? Love letters, texts. <laughs> <laughs> Stop putting that out there. <laughs> Is it love letters, <laughs> texts and messages, or parking tickets? <laughs> Choose now. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> texts and messages. Right, well done, Ken and Charlie. You scored three points. And that's the end of the game. Now, I've got to say, you've all been brilliant tonight, but only one pair can make it through to the final to play for that jackpot. And the pair going through is... Jodie and Indio! <laughs> so, congratulations to Clay and Benjamin, Ken and Charlie, but nobody goes home empty-handed on this show. We're going to give you £1,000 for your charities. Faye, where would you like your money to go? To the Charlie Cookson Foundation, uh, giving money and support to parents who have um, poorly children. Beautiful. And Ken, your £1,000 is going to? We're going to a split between Tomley Activity Centre and Horses Helping People. <laughs> and for each of our little stars, you're both going to take home your very own big stars, Little Stars Trophy. Give them a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> Benjamin, you're so great. Little John Charlie. Lovely. Right, coming up, Jody and India will play for a possible £15,000. But first, for you at home, can you guess which big star this little star grew up to become? Come on, you've got to know it. See if you're right in just a minute. <laughs> 